I need to interview you. How tall? She's going to be like, this is like the... Are you, uh, okay. did you play basketball? I played volleyball at Mississippi State. Where? <laughs> no basketball? No. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Jim Mills. Hi, Hillary Hunt. And that's what the detective said when you interviewed him? Yes. Yeah, so, um, will you get the sound of her closing it? Can you open it? Yeah. He's just got severe wounds. This one. It looks like he's like healthy though, you know, that he's been fed. I don't know. The gray that he picked up and was like, oh, like the, the sheriff's office was like, it doesn't really happen. What are you doing up there, buddy? Yeah, very interesting. Okay. Playing with my blanket. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Let's do it. Okay, so you're okay. just gonna look at me easy to okay. part, say and spell your name for me and state where you work. Oh, okay. Natalie Ray Cooper Towns and I'm a veterinarian at Honey Hill Animal Hospital. Okay, so recently you guys had a dog in really bad shape dropped off. Describe the dog to me. So we had a male young dog that was dropped off with severe trauma. Uh, probably 75% of his body is covered in burns from road rash and all four of his feet have severe wounds on them. Uh, his right forelimb has an injury where we can see tendons and bone exposed. So he's very severe injuries. And how shocked were you by the injuries when the dog came in? You know, we see trauma fairly regularly, but any type of, of trauma like that certainly gets our attention. It makes us um, kind of everyone jump in and, and help right away. So he got care right away and pain medication right away. So, And were you surprised by um, the factors around it, especially as an animal lover? Most definitely. We don't, none of us understand how any person could possibly do this to an animal. Uh, so it's that's disheartening that this was an on-purpose type of event. So we we are all saddened by that. And then say there's you know someone in the community where you know accidents happen. What what's your advice to them? Well, accidents do happen, but on purpose should never happen. So this is this is a, a cruelty case, and and that should never happen. This dog should never have to go through this. And then talk about it. it's a it's a long road of recovery. A lot of skin missing for the dog. Certainly, we we've managed wounds like this before, and some were accidents. And we're talking months of intensive, every other day bandage changes. We're using cold laser therapy for pain management. Um, as you saw earlier, he's fairly sedated right now, just because we can control his pain that way. So we're looking at at least a month, if not several months, of recovery. And talk about the care. You know, this isn't something where you guys can check on him. And an hour and then six hours later check on him it's a round the clock thing we do we we need to monitor him as frequently as possible our technicians um, that's why he's here in our intensive care area of the hospital so he can be monitored throughout the day and right now you guys are doing this out of the goodness of your heart someone brought the dog you know this dog is not owned right now well we we love animals um it's what we do so we couldn't turn him away for sure i think that's good yeah good, good. Okay. I'm a quick writer. It's Mississippi State coming out of me. Did you vaccinate him, Johan? Huh? Yeah. Thank you, sir. How much of that do you think is going to die? He doesn't lose all that skin. You think he will? I don't think he will. Okay. 
Here you can point at the x-rays. Oh, 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 we yeah. got x-rays. Yeah. Here, Doctor. What's your thinking? I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. Oh, gosh, so we can... <laughs> so we can just break the cage. Here we go. Okay. This is just on so that I can hear you guys talking oh, okay. about the x-ray and the extent of the injury. So chat away. We did this to check in for fractures and et cetera, et cetera. Fortunately, there weren't any. This is all superficial and deep. Were you surprised, like, of no broken yes, bones? Yes, yes, yes. Because when he, obviously, he is all four feet are skidded. When he was being dragged, he was trying to get up, and it was he's bouncing along. So yes, very surprised there were no fractures. I'm kind of surprised too. No, this is good. Uh, thank you, guys, for. Yes. And I mean, I weekly have a segment called Hillary Sounds. You know how to spike a volleyball? Yeah. You spike his head. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have her take care of him. Go interview him and ask him why. <laughs> why? When you are three two one for real guys it's friday which means it is time for another episode of hillary's house and i am super excited to be at the Cersei animal shelter featuring this girl this is faye they tell me she's about eight months old she's a coon hound mixed with a little bit of boxer but she is mixed with a lot of love they tell me she's been here for a while but i don't get why because she is so sweet they tell me she is great with people loves to be loved on look at this she just wants to sit in my lap like a big baby they say she has no major health issues she has already been spayed she's just now looking for her forever home so you know if faye is the girl for you you're going to want to come check her out here at the cersei animal shelter i'm going to put all of her information below let's get this cute adopted. Yas, you are perfect, dearie. 